My official Megan Place Pupple headband is now available for a limited time only. Get yours now from the link in the description down below. Oh, what a beautiful day today in Royal High. I am so excited because today is me and my best friend Summer's annual shopping trip, which means we save up all year and then we go to Divinia and we blow all of our diamonds because who needs a life savings, right? And not us. We just need new purses, shoes, shirts, skirts, all that jazz. I'm so excited. I mean, they did open up some brand new shops and I don't know, I, I kind of feel guilty because I think Summer wanted to go check out Sunset Island, but uh, I think that's gonna have to be on next year's agenda because that place is so expensive to go to. You have to take a boat and then like you have to rent a hotel and bring a swimsuit and like who likes to wear swimsuits? I don't. Anyway, let me go get Summer and let's just go see if she's ready for our big day. Hello, Summer. Good morning, girl. Are you super excited for our shopping trip today? Yeah, it's going to be amazing. I've been saving like crazy. I almost have 500 diamonds. Oh wow, 500? That's way more than me. I only was able to save up 250. Maybe if I cut down on the tea and you know all the Starbucks, I would have a little bit more, but you know, we all have our addictions. I told you, just make your own tea instead of buying that $5 per cup stuff at the store. Yeah, Summer, but you don't control my life, so I'm gonna keep on buying Starbucks. And you know, I might not get as many cool items as you today, but uh, at least I got Starbucks. Anyway, we should probably get going because I don't want the carriage to leave us behind and, you know, then we'll have to take an Uber and that's expensive and I, I'm, I'm already running low. Okay, sounds like a good plan. I need this day so bad. I'm so excited. I know, and maybe even if we have diamonds left over after, we could probably go to the spa and get like a manicure and pedicure and really just spoil ourselves. So anyway, what is the first thing that you're going to buy? Any idea? Your girl needs a man, but since she can't buy one of those, I'll probably just buy some new shoes. <laughs> I mean, you could probably buy a man. I mean, if you go on a date and you pay, then like, you know, technically you're buying his affection. But yeah, oh my gosh, I'm just working so hard to save up for this shopping trip. I mean, I don't even know, like, you know, if we're gonna be able to do this next year, cause I don't know, maybe I should start saving for college instead of blowing all my money on purses. Yeah, it's been a ton of hard work. That's for sure. <laughs> That's hilarious. You guys have to work for your money? Uh, yeah, you don't have to work for money? No, I just get everything handed to me. Duh. Wait, uh, why would you get things handed to you? That doesn't make any sense. And, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with hard work. Well, because I'm rich, uh, and I guess there's nothing wrong with it when <laughs> you're poor and that's the only way you can make money. <laughs> hey, we're not poor. We're just lacking in the money department, okay? Yeah, we're like rich in other senses, like, you know, our friendship bond, um, our sense of humor, our... Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure poor means lacking in the money department, so... Um, I mean... actually, poor is a term of quality, and that expresses, like, you know, something is like nice or poor condition so uh get your dictionary maybe if you spent more time in the books then you wouldn't make such a fool out of yourself in the hallways well maybe if you had more money your life wouldn't be of poor quality how about that oh that, that was a good one that was a good one summer um whatever we don't need to listen to this we have a shopping spree to go on <laughs> have fun spending your two dollars <laughs> um uh 250 dollars okay okay uh bye yeah and summer has 500 so you don't even know you don't you don't even no, Lily. What was her deal? Why is she always so rude? I don't know how people can act like that. Plus, I heard she's not as rich as everyone thinks, but that's just a rumor. Well, how could she not be rich? I mean, she always has the newest designer clothing, hats, purses, shoes. It's just like every time I see her, she's wearing something brand new. And how else would she get that if she wasn't rich? Do you think she's like in crippling debt or something? Yeah, true. It's just not fair that someone so mean has everything they want. Yeah, I know, but at least she doesn't have a lot of friends, and we have that, we have each other, um, and we have a good time together, and nobody wants to hang out with Lily because she's always bragging about what she has, and nobody really likes a bragger. You're right. Let's forget about her and go shopping! Okay, I am really excited. Let's go! Wow, Davinia, this place is so much cooler than I thought, and look, they opened up the gates! Yeah, I'm so excited. Maybe too excited. I need to go find a bathroom. I'll be right back. Wait, what? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, just don't get caught peeing in the bush. That could be, uh, that could be dangerous. Uh, okay, so I guess while Summer is checking out the bathroom, I'm gonna see. 
see the best place to maybe start spending our diamonds. I could scope out all the best locations since I do have objectively less than her. Maybe I don't want to start until she gets here, you know? Oh, wow, this fountain's really looking pretty. And then, okay, so we have an auction house over here and a designer boutique. Oh, hey, I think that that's Lily and who was that talking to her? If I just get a little close, I can eavesdrop. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not gonna give you any more money. I've given you probably like 10,000 diamonds yesterday and 5,000 diamonds this morning. Why do you need more diamonds from me? Okay, just listen. They just came out with this brand new clam purse and I have to have it. It's only 2,000 more diamonds, please. Th that's ridiculous. No, I mean, I'm your boyfriend and everything, but I'm sick of buying all this stuff for you. You're spending hundreds of thousands of my diamonds every single month. I don't understand what the big deal is. 2,000 diamonds? That's pocket change for you. Come on. Yeah, it might be pocket change for me and my family's money, but my family's really upset that you've been spending so much of it. I mean, we're not even married. We're, we're still in high school. They don't want my girlfriend spending the family fortune. I don't understand what such the big deal is. It's just money. Well, uh, if it's just money, then you can go without it. I better get going. I'm gonna be late for my class. I have to head all the way back to Royal High. Don't spend any more of our money. Ugh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Did you guys just hear that? Oh my gosh, whoa, where, where? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tell Summer about this. It appears that Lily has been gold digging this entire time from her boyfriend, just begging him for money, not working for anything for herself. This is insane. I think maybe, uh... Summer went over here. Oh, hey, Summer, did you find the restroom or? I, I don't see a restroom back there. Yeah, but they didn't have any sinks, toilets, or soap, so I just had to make it work. Really? It sounds like you just went potty in the forest. Don't let me judge you. I'm glad you got it to work out. Anyway, I have some huge news. I just witnessed something really juicy. Wait, you were watching me? What? No, I wasn't watching you. I was watching Lily. She's over there by the boutique, you know? So uh, I was witnessing her talking to her boyfriend and I heard some really shocking news. Oh no, Lily is here? We can't let her ruin our good time. No, no, she's not gonna ruin our good time. Okay, listen, she was talking to her boyfriend and she was begging her boyfriend for more money and he got all mad and was like, no, I've given you so much money already. Like, I guess he's given her thousands and thousands of diamonds. Wait, what? Really? So it's true, she's not rich at all. She's a gold digger. I know, she's a, like a really bad person, but I have this kind of sneaky idea that might make our, you know, our little shopping trip a little bit more fun. And don't worry, it's free. Really? What is it? So I was thinking that we could text Lily from a private number. That way she won't know it's us and we could pretend to be some, you know, white knight in shining armor. And then like all of a sudden, like we'll like offer her like money and diamonds and see if she breaks up with her boyfriend. And then we can prove that she's just using him for money. And expose her to be the gold digger that she is. Yes, that's the perfect plan! And then, you know, maybe she'll learn not to be so mean. Okay, so, uh, here, give me your cell phone, and I'll, like, um, I'll, I'll text her from it, okay? Because, you know, she has my number, but I don't think she has your number, so... Alright, so, so what, what is our, what's our guy's name? Who, who are we gonna pretend to be? Prince Henry. Oh, I like your thought process with this. Okay, so here, follow me. We're gonna go over to the spot where I was, like, snooping before because, you know, she's still over here throwing a little bit of a fit. And I'm gonna send her a text drafted from uh, Prince Henry. Okay, so here's what I said. I said, hey, Lily, my name is Prince Henry III, and I want to give you money. So now I'll just close up my phone and we'll just, you know, wait to see what she says. <laughs> Sounds so good. Oh, she pulled out her phone. She must have got the message. So let's just wait. Let's just wait to see what she says back. Oh, this is going to be so juicy. Oh, I got a text. A rich prince wants to give me money? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. I can't believe she's actually falling for it. Oh, oh, she texted back. She texted back. Okay. Okay. Well, who could say no to that? That's what she said. What do I say next? Do I like convince her to break up with her boyfriend or do I like catch her in the act? I guess I would have to convince her to break up with her boyfriend to prove that she's only in it for the money. Ask her to come to the castle and be his girlfriend. Then you can spoil her with gifts. Okay, okay, that's a good one. Just just give me time to type this out. Okay, so this is what I texted her. I said, if you come to the castle and be my girl, I'll spoil you with diamonds. You just have to dump your current boy. Oh, he wants me to dump my boyfriend? Oh. She said, consider it done. OMG, you gold digger. We got her, we got her. Okay, so I just 
sent her a text calling her a gold digger. I just called her out. Oh my gosh. This was such a good idea, Summer. Okay, let's let's go expose ourselves. Come on, follow me. Um, oh, hey, Lily. Uh... Hey, do, do I know you or something? What? Yes, you definitely know me. We've known each other since kindergarten. Don't play that game right now. Gold digger! <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. You guys are clearly uh, on something. No, 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 no. So I just, I was down here, you know, down here in this little pit, and I overheard you talking to your boyfriend, Steven, and you were telling him how, like, you needed more money, and he was saying he already gave you, like, 15,000 diamonds today, but you just wanted 2,000 more, and now you just dumped him for some rich prince, quote-unquote, which was me, saying that he was gonna give you lots of diamonds and money, but that guy didn't exist. It was me. We pranked you, and we caught you, and now we know that you're a gold digger. Well, surprise, surprise, I haven't even broken up with Steven yet, so joke's on you. Oh, huh. well, after I show him these text messages, he's definitely gonna break up with you, so I would just be prepared for that. Y you're gonna show him those texts? Oh, of course, yeah, you're just using him for money. Why wouldn't I show him those texts? He's a really nice guy, and you're taking advantage of that. I, I have no other way to get money, okay? Well, maybe you should get a job. Oh, gross. Well, sorry, it looks like you're a bad person, and we're gonna tell the entire school, aren't we, Summer? Yeah, yeet! Okay, that was really loud. That was uh, that was good, though. Okay, yep, so uh, I guess we'll be seeing you later, Lily. Bye-bye, toodles. See you never. I've had enough of this. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. We totally exposed her gold digging butt and now I can't wait to go tell our boyfriend Steven and he's gonna dump her. And it looks like good prevails evil once again. Good wins in the everlasting battle of good versus evil today. But where in the saga will good truly be in the next decade of ramen noodles? What? What are, you, what are you talking about? You know, uh, I, I think I don't want to spend my diamonds today. I'm feeling a little sick from everything we just witnessed. Why don't we, you know, postpone our trip and save up for Sunset Island like I know that you've been wanting to do. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you loved it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below to officially join the hashtag Peachy Squad. Don't forget to check out Kayla's channel. She helped me out with today's video and she did such a fantastic job. And don't forget to check out all of these amazing videos right here and subscribe right down there if you loved today's video because then you'll get to see more. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!